hey guys what is up it is no help and welcome back to another video today so today is going to be a viewer suggestion from goron293 his comment says love it man also something i've been looking for and can't seem to find is an iron man gear progression guide that might sound weird but i feel like there's a different order that happens when you play an iron man account you can't just go buy an amulet of glory or get that next best item it would be cool to hear what you did to slowly progress your gear from early to late game and maybe the activities you did to get them i love your content bro thank you so much and uh yeah it's very interesting on how iron man gets the gear completely differently so today i'm going to break it down for melee range and magic on how to slowly progress your gear to get the best items in the game throw in some tips and tricks here as well and uh yeah this is going to be a very long video so uh buckle up Okay, so I'm going to start off the gear progression with the melee armor. So we're going to start it off with the armor. And at the very start of the game, you get the Iron Man gear armor. So I'd wear that for a little bit, um, depending on how long you want to wear it. Obviously, upgrade as goes from steel, maybe, to all the way up to mithril and adamant. Once you get rune, you're really good for rune armor for a very long time. Also, one thing I'd really recommend is you unlock the proselyte armor with the slug menace quest. Now, this is really good armor for prayer bonus. Very, very good to get uh, for those slayer tasks also void is a really good armor to get you get void by doing the pest control mini game and this is a great armor because it's a hybrid armor and you can use it for melee range or magic but can be very good armor at such a low level and it's free basically because you get it through a mini game also, I'd highly recommend you do the Barbarian Assault to get yourself a torso. This will basically be like a Bando's chest plate for free as well with a good strength bonus there. Um, other than that, maybe get some Barrows gear like Dare Rock or whatever you might want for some defense gear. Other than that, you're going to be soloing Bando's, getting your Bando's armor, and eventually getting all the way up to Torva if you would like. Now, as for the melee weapons, I recommend just using any scimitar, the best one that you can have at the very time. Eventually, go up to the rune scimitar. Now, you can get the rune scimitar from killing the fire giants. This is the way I got it anyways. I know there's a quicker way to get it now, but I just killed fire giants back in the day. Very good to start your maybe range or magic training. Get yourself that rune scimitar. After that, you're going to want to complete the quest Monkey Madness, and this will give you access to the dragon scimitar, which is going to be your best friend for a very long time and it's also a really good way because you can only train strength with the dragon scimitar not the whip so the next upgrade is the whip and this is going to be pretty much the weapon that you use the most up until very late game content um, after the whip you could get the maybe the chaotic rapier or even the fang from the new raids 3 boss but yeah you're going to be using the whip for a very long time and maybe even using the dragon scimitar to train your strength now for my offhand for melee, I would just use any shield that you possibly can at lower levels. Once you get to the higher levels, make sure to unlock all of the defenders. This is very, very important to get all of the defenders all the way up to dragon. Um, you're going to need a combined level of attack and strength of 130, so 65 attack and 65 strength. You can go and tackle the defenders. Make sure you get this as early as possible. Give some amazing strength bonus for your slayer tasks or just regular combat throughout the game. Another offhand you could use is the damaged book. Now, all this does is provide a plus five prayer bonus, but at very early levels, this can actually help quite a bit. Now, for your glove slot, I just recommend you do the recipe for disaster quest to unlock all of the gloves, all the way from hard leather to your Barrows gloves. This will be the best gloves that you can get for a very long time, and I still use them to this day because they're a great hybrid glove for all styles. You could go out of the way to get a combat bracelet or if you want a region bracelet you could use this to heal slowly and very high level players can get the ferocious gloves now you're gonna have to kill hydra in order to get these so they will take a very long time to get but those are the best in slot melee gloves at the moment for the boot slot, climbing boots are going to be your best friend. You get these for completing the death plateau quest. You're going to be using these for a very long time. They provide a little bit of strength bonus, so they're definitely worth getting and using for slayer and training. After that, rune boots you unlock at level 80 slayer for killing gargoyles. 80 slayer is a pretty uh, steep requirement. Dragon boots you can get with 83 slayer by killing the spiritual creatures. 
these can be very frustrating to get especially at lower levels but if you're 83 slayer you should be able to get that done and at level 91 slayer you can kill cerberus and get yourself a primordial crystal add the primordial crystal to the dragon boots and you will get primordial boots the being the best in slot melee boots in the game Okay, so for the necklace slot, you can get the amulet of strength at a very low level. This is going to be the best in slot for a very long time. Next would be the amulet of glory. Now, this is a huge grind for low level Iron Man accounts. You can either knock out the crafting and, uh, eventually get the magic requirement to enchant the glory or you could get level 83 hunter and you can hunt the dragon implings to get a 1 in 19 chance to get an amulet of glory um i just would recommend you get the crafting out of the way you're gonna need to do it anyways and getting the magic requirement to enchant it will take a very long time so set yourself a glory as maybe one of your first goals in an account it will get you a ton of levels after the glory you could get the amulet of fury which is an even better upgrade but you will need an onyx for this so you're going to either need to get a ton of chaos runes to get your onyx or just get an onyx from a drop like zalra maybe after that you have the amulet of torture which is the best in slot melee necklace at the moment right now and you pretty much get this by getting an onyx and a zenite shard now you get the zenite shard from fighting demonic gorillas which is a very hard creature to kill with slayer but once you get the gist of it it is pretty easy but it is a very rare chance so to get your amulet of torture it will be torture and take you a very long time melee capes some of my favorite capes in the game so at very low levels i recommend you just do the arty achievement diaries get yourself the arty cloak one two three doesn't really matter pretty good cape to uh, start yourself off with if you would like you can get an obsidian cape which is basically like a skill cape but you get it by trading toggle in where you get your fire cape so this could be another option other than that a skill cape uh trimmed would be very good to get but i know a lot of people won't go ahead and get that the next best thing would definitely be the fire cape which uh you're gonna have to kill jad in order to get this this can be a challenge for many players but let me tell you it is so worth getting a fire cape and the next cape will be the inferno cape which is the best in slot melee cape right now but you will have to kill the zuck which is insanely difficult to do i personally haven't even attempted it yet and it will be a goal i set myself in the future so for the melee rings, you could get the warrior ring, imbue it, or the berserker ring and imbue it. You get these by killing the Dagonoth kings. This can be very challenging for lower levels. So for lower levels, just wear whatever ring you really want. I At lower levels, I would just wear like a ring of dueling, whatever could help me get to a bank or get around the game. My favorite ring is to wear the ring of suffering. It's a hybrid ring and uh, you can also imbue it at the nightmare zone. It also provides a crazy prayer bonus. So that's personally why I like the ring of suffering. And for the ammo slot, you can wear any blessing in the game. So you can get wear like a Bando's blessing, whatever it might be. The Rhoda's blessing is actually best in slot because it will provide a plus two prayer bonus. Okay, so for the helmet slot, uh, at the start, use any helmet. Get yourself all the way up to a rune helmet. Use this for a little while. Once you complete the quest, the Fremenic Isles, you get access to the Helm of Nezinot, which is going to be your best in slot for a very long time. After completion of the Fremenic Exiles quest, you can kill Basilis in order to get a Basilis Jaw and upgrade your Helm of Nezinot to a Nezinot Face Guard. This is going to be best in slot for sure. Other than that, you could use Barrow's armor. Um, a Serpentine Helm is also a really good option. And if you're on task, obviously just use the Slayer Helmet. Okay, moving on to the range progression gear. The first thing I want to mention is you have to complete the Animal Magnetism quest. This will give you access to the Ava's devices, the Ava's attractor requiring level 30 range, the Ava's accumulator requiring level 50 range, and the Ava's assembler requiring level 70 range. These are pretty much backpacks that provide range bonus, and they will also keep a lot of your ammunition when firing, so it's very recommended you get this out of the way. Okay, so for the range armor, you're going to start off by wearing just regular leather equipment. Um, and then you can eventually move up to green, blue, red, and uh, black dragonhide armor. Green at level 40. Level 50, you can wear blue. Level 60, you can wear red. And level 70, you can wear the black dehyde armor. Um, to get these, you're obviously going to have to craft them or get them from clue scrolls. But it's highly recommended you do so to get these equipment. They will help a ton. 
Another thing is Void is also great to get for range. It can be a great armor, especially even for late game killing bosses. So I just recommend getting Void. And uh, another thing is Blessed Dehyde. You get this from Clue Scrolls, so you're not going to for sure get it. But it's really good to get, especially the boots. And the next one would be Kirill's. Now, Kirill's is the Barrow's brother that will drop the range equipment and you can get Kirill's pieces here which they're really good because they're also like tank defense armor with a really good range bonus. Other than that we have Armadil which you get from killing the Armadil God Wars boss and then Missouri armor which is an upgrade to Armadil but you need to complete raids 3 so it will take a very long time to get that. Now for range equipment you're going to always want to use short bows. Um, just use the short bows that you have access to but at level 40 you can get U short bow make sure you use that level 50 you can get a magic short bow and at level 61 you can get access to the rune crossbow now getting these equipment can be very tough you either need a really high fletching level or get them from a clue scroll or a boss drop um, at level 70 you get access to the crystal bow which can be extremely useful in a lot of scenarios also, there is the Kirill's crossbow, just to keep in mind. At level 75 range, you get access to one of the best weapons in the entire game, being the Toxic Blowpipe. Now, you have to kill Zalra in order to get it, so it can be one hell of a grind. It took me about a month, month and a half when I was going for it back in the day, but it is my pretty much my favorite weapon in the game, the Toxic Blowpipe. At level 80... You can get access to the Bofa, the Boa Foradonin, or whatever, however you pronounce that. One of the best weapons in the game as well. You will have to do the Corrupted Gauntlet in order to get this. So it will be another late end game goal for you to do. And obviously at level 85, you get access to the Twisted Bow, which is pretty much the best weapon in the entire game. Now offhand for range, I would just recommend to use the prayer books. To be completely honest with you, you could use some shields, like maybe a dragon fire shield or whatever. But the offhand prayer books, the unholy prayer book is really good, provides a plus 8 attack bonus. Very nice, but you will need to get all the pages for that. Now for the range gloves, again just use the recipe for disaster gloves. You could also use the van braces, but I would personally just use the recipe for disaster gloves. Now, for the helmet slot for range, you're going to start it off by wearing a coif. After that, you can eventually upgrade to an archer helm after the Fremenic uh, Trials quest. Other than that, I pretty much used the Slayer helm the entire time I was training range, because most of the time I was training range was on task. Other than that, I would just use like a regular helm of Nezi Knot, but uh, if you want to go even farther, you can get the Armadel helmet, or eventually get yourself the Missouri helmet now for ranging boots you're going to start off with regular leather boots you could upgrade to snake skin boots i personally didn't myself but uh, after that you can get the blessed dehyde boots if you get lucky enough from a clue scroll these will be super handy because the ranging best in slot is very hard to get. You need to get ranging boots, which is a very rare chance from a medium clue scroll. And then eventually you can upgrade them to Pagasian boots, but you will need 91 Slayer and have to get it as a the, the Pagasian crystal drop from Cerberus and attach them to the ranger boots. So it's a very long process to get the best in slot ranging boots. Now for the necklace slot for range, start off with the doing the imp catcher quest. This will give you access to the amulet of accuracy, which is going to be your best in slot for a little while. You can eventually upgrade this to an amulet of power. And finally, you can upgrade it to an amulet of glory. Now this again will take a very, very long time. And you can set yourself some massive goals to get this out of the way. If you want to push it even farther, you can get the uh, the Fury or eventually get this yourself the Necklace of Anguish. Again, you're going to have to kill Demonic Gorillas and get an Onyx in order to do this. So it is a very long grind, but it is worth it for being the best in slot range amulet. And for the ring slot, I would just really recommend you get the Archer's Ring, again, from killing the Dagonoth Kings. My personal favorite, again, is the Ring of Suffering. For the ammo slot, for range, it's just whatever arrows or bolts you're going to be using. Or if you're using something like the Toxic Blowpipe or the Bow of Feridon, and you can go ahead and use the Rada's Blessing for that nice prayer bonus. 
Okay, now finally for the magic gear progression, we're going to start it off here with the armor. Now, you can use the Zamorak Monk robes at the very start of the game. You can eventually upgrade to the Zerakin robes, aka the Salad robes, eventually moving up to Mystic robes. Um, another thing to say again, Void is great to get here, great hybrid armor, highly recommend you get Void. For the Aram, uh, Aram's armor, again, killing the Barrows Brothers, you can get the Aram's armor, which is personally what I still use today, I love the Aram's armor. And if you want to upgrade it even farther, the best in slot right now is the Ancestral Robes, and you get these from doing the raids, obviously. Now for magic weapons you're gonna start it off by just using regular staffs casting regular spells around the game if you complete the underground pass quest you will get access to the ibon staff and this can be really helpful for early game bossing even up to like something like zalra can be done with the ibon staff next i would recommend you get the ancient staff now this can be done by completing the desert treasure quest highly recommend you do the desert treasure quest because you will get access to the ancient spell book which can be super helpful for a lot of magic XP. Um, next, you could do the Mage Training Arena. Now, this will take a very long time, but you can actually get the Master Wand from this, which will allow you to auto-cast the Ancient Spells. Very, very good to get out of the way. The next upgrade I would personally get would be the Trident of the Seas. Now, the Trident of the, the Seas requires level 87 Slayer, and you have to kill the Krakens, so it can be it can take a very long time to get, but it is so worth getting. One of the best weapons in the game, and you can upgrade this even farther by attaching a Magic Fang to it, which is a drop from Zalra, and you can make it to the Trident of the Swamp, and it will just increase its damage by quite a bit. Now, this is the the last one that I personally have. If you want to go even farther, you could get the Tomb of a Maskets drop, and this will just increase it by a lot. The Atomican Shadow, I forgot the name of it. Now, for the offhand for magic, I didn't really use too much at the lower levels. Um, if you're lucky enough to get the Tome of Water from Temporis or the Tome of Fire from Winter Todd, you could use these for some really good magic bonus. Um, there's also the Melediction Ward that you can go ahead and get. I personally really fell in love with the Mage Training Arena, so I went all the way and got the Mage's Book, which is a really good prayer or er, magic offhand. For magic gloves, uh, mystic gloves are going to be your best friend for a very long time. You could get a combat bracelet, but again, I highly recommend you just use the recipe for disaster gloves. They are super great, some of the best items in the game, and it will actually push you to do more quests to upgrade your gloves this way. And last, lastly, we have the tormented bracelet, which again, you have to kill the demonic gorillas to get it, but it is highly worth getting because it is a super great bracelet. Well, actually increase your damage by quite a bit now for the helmet slot we have the wizard hat that you can get at the very start of the game you could upgrade this to say a cream hat a plus one extra bonus personally i would just wait and get yourself mystic hat and then eventually you can move into the arum's hood and the ancestral hat but most of the time you're just going to be using a different helmet like a slayer helmet for example so don't worry too much about the magic helmet for the magic boots, we have mystic boots, and you could upgrade these to wizard boots from a medium clue scroll. It's a very rare chance, so you'll probably be sticking with mystic boots for a very long time. If you do more mage training arena, you could get the infinity boots, and I highly recommend you get the infinity boots because at level 91 slayer and the Cerberus drop, you get the eternal crystal, and once you attach these to the infinity boots, you will get the internal boots, being the best in slot magic boots. Now for the cape, I started off with the already cloak and move right on to a god cape and then obviously imbue the god cape. Now this is pretty hard to do at a low level, but it is definitely worth it. It will increase your magic damage by quite a bit. Now for the ring slot, we have the seer's ring and you can also make it the seer's ring eye. My personal favorite again is the ring of suffering, the hybrid ring. Now for the necklace slot, you can do the uh, Imp Catcher quest to get yourself an Amulet of Accuracy at the very start of the game, upgrade this to the Amulet of Power, and then finally the Amulet of Glory, and if you want to push it even farther, we got the Amulet of Fury, or the Occult Necklace. The Occult Necklace is the best in slot, will increase your damage by a lot, but does require level 93 Slayer to obtain. 
Well, I hope this video helped your gear progression from being a very low level and all getting all the way up to a maxed player and seeing all the different types of armor that you could get along the way. You don't have to get them all like I said, but here's just what I pretty much did to get from a very low leveled account all the way to a maxed account. I still don't have all of the unlocks, but I wanted to include all the ones that I thought were pretty great to get to help your account along the way. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure to comment tuna down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.